Okay. So we're in this heat wave, right? And we don't want to cook at home because it's going to heat up the house. And we had this problem with the air conditioners. We just got them both made, made um, what do you call it, maintenance? <laughs> Something like that. But not even a year ago. Both of them. Upstairs, downstairs. These are central air units. Central air. And, uh, so it was really hot. And upstairs was 91 degrees and downstairs was uh, 80. Anyway, we had already said that we weren't going to cook in the house because, you know, we're in a heat wave. Uh, like, two days. One of them was 116 heat index and the other one was 117 already. Okay, it's end of June. And anyway, so we... So it was, it was dinner time and uh, when we noticed that all this heat and everything, it was about, well at the time actually it was um, a little late for dinner, but it was, um, oh, what time was it, 6.30, well anyway, um, he worked, he went and sprayed down, did some stuff on the AC, came back, and uh, we said, we, it was about 7, we said, we go 8 and pick, get something to eat. Well, his sister, he's over than I, and his sister is between my age and his. Never really cared too much for her. She has this uncanny ability, like as if she has some kind of radar, to call at the most inappropriate time. I mean, most, not inappropriate, but well, sometimes it was. You know, like, she knew that we watched a particular news uh, network at 8 o'clock, and she would call, like, right at 8 every time. Seriously, and she just she just would, and uh, so this time it was right before eight. She called here on a Sunday, and uh, when she didn't know we were gonna go eat, so it was like um, it was about eight thirty or so before we could go because th th those people have dramas all the time. Okay, his family, and oh, it was another big drama. And, uh, wow. So anyway, we went and got something to eat. Now, okay, you know, finally. And, uh, got it back home and all, and I was saying, look at all the people out here. I mean, I guess a lot of people are having the same kind of idea. <laughs> We're not going to heat up our house any more than already is. You know, we just go to some restaurant and get some food. Now, I'm trying to stay on low sodium, so this is an easy, fine place. So what I got was a taco salad. Okay, and uh, I was happy. I mean, I had thought about it, and then Adam said, "Yeah, let's go." There. I was thinking of the place, huh? You know, back and forth. So it was uh, okay. Brought it home, opened it up, and I said, "What the crap? They had made it about half the size now." You know, I mean, it's a taco salad, but you can see the bowl. You know, it's a uh, yeah, taco salad or the bowl is what do you call it, corn chip kind of thing, <laughs> whatever, like corn chips, but it's a whole bowl made out of that, and uh, it was tiny, and so, I mean, I could guess that the part that they took off, you know, and made it smaller, that part would probably be about as much as if you could make another one with it, okay, or the size, it's just half the size it looks like, and minus the optical illusion, but she's what I'm saying, and I'm like, I cannot believe this. And that's how things, I can believe it because that's how things are going. I mean, since 2020. They're just ripping, I mean, they, who are they? Yeah, my thing wouldn't figure that out. Just ripping us off right and left. Seriously. And what the heck is this? You know, things that are half the size or close to it. And, but the same price, and shoot, some of them are the same, the same size, like they, you know, a, a, can, um, a pack of 12, 12 cans of soda, okay, whatever, a 12, 12 pack of soda, and it's the same amount of soda that was before 2020, but now it's twice the price, and their sale price is usually at or more than what it was regular before, it's like, what the crap? And they're not, they're, they're not making two liters on purpose, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, but the whole excuse for all these is that they can't hire, find people to hire. Hmm. Some of us, like me, 
went through downsizing of uh, what era was that? The uh, Bubba, yeah, the Bubba era. And uh, even the gas prices were about what they are now. That was a quite a while back, wasn't it? Was it? Hmm. I honestly can't remember, but I'm thinking close to 20 years ago, 15 or so. Yeah, so I almost went through that and remember, but now they have a... I mean, I'm just speculating here. <laughs> I'm not a conspiracy theorist. Actually, I'm kind of having fun with this. But, uh, tongue-in-cheek and all that. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I remember the gas prices were these prices, though, that they are now. That's quite a bit of time going by. So, can't really blame it on anything going on right now, as it was back then. At least maybe, again, you know, how prices go up for a lot of things. Especially, certain things go up right before a holiday. I mean, there's always some good excuse, isn't there? But, no, no, we, we, we're told how to think about stuff like this, and just don't be a conspiracy theorist. I don't think, I don't call that conspiracy myself. Nope, because it can be true. <laughs> yeah. Can be true. Not some crazy thing like aliens or something like that. No, this, this kind of thing can be true. It could be. It could very well be. But then the whole, go back to the whole thing of the size of my taco salad. It was half the size. And you know, they don't put as much stuff in it either. So they're not only shrinking the bowl, the size of the bowl, but they're shrinking the amount that they put in it. So I start thinking, now let's see, Can, you know, the people who are out there, actually, I'm not working, so I'm just having to guess here, and I would say that do not do this, what I'm about to say, especially do not do this. I never give advice and never make suggestions. But can you imagine if somebody went out there who's working? I mean, their, their, their money is being spent on all this stuff. These places are just so poor, they have to raise their prices and shrink the stuff. And or whatever. I mean, they're just so poor. I mean, these corporations that, oh boy, they, they're just not, they're just barely surviving. Seriously, oh my. No, wait, wait, wait. That's actually the people, right? Who are having to pay for it. Anyway. So these people that out there working hard to, you know, so they can afford something, they have to cut down on a lot of things. They just can't afford to eat, some like they did before. So they're going to be, their nutrition might not be as great, you know, they have to buy cheap stuff. And uh, anyway, I kind of wonder what would happen. You know, some of them might need two jobs, you know, just to make ends meet. So. I'm wondering if, hey, if this is the way things are going now, you know, to have something that's worth less, but is paid the same, or the things that are, um, you know, maybe something like this. You know, I'm saying don't do this. <laughs> but can you imagine an employee saying, I'm going to come to work, but I'm only going to work half of the time, and you, and then I'm leaving to go to my other job, but, but you're going to pay me. You know, I've come here, work four hours, and go to my other job and work four hours there, well, both of y'all are going to pay me for a whole eight-hour shift. I mean, it's just as, as crazy as somebody shrinking the size of food or charging this double the price for the same items, right? It's just pretty much as crazy. So if, that, if crazy is what's going on around these days, then that's, that thing of working four hours and getting paid for eight, eh, it just fits right in, doesn't it? Really? Think about it. Of course, do not do that. <laughs> See, you might not have any four hours, any eight hours anywhere. Yeah, they got us hooked. Huh? Maybe I'm not hooked, but well, you know, they just got us. But, you know, I've always wondered if you know, I'm a my master's degree is in sociology, so this was rather tongue in cheek and all that, but you know. Is it? But, or is it? But, um, yeah, I have wondered lately, I don't know how many years now, if younger people, I'm 60, I just turned 60, and I've been wondering if younger people are, you know, really getting into things where 
they can make a difference. I did in my life. I, I mean, I was the one standing up, you know, I, I did it by myself, kind of, and I contributed to it, I should say. I'm sure there are a lot of other people out there contributing to these kinds of things, but things like when I was told that, when I was 18, I was told that I had to change my, I got married, and I was told that I had to change my last name to his last name. Ooh, I wasn't happy. I was told if I didn't, I would be fined and or imprisoned. Seriously. Imagine an 18 year old hearing such. So most of my life, <laughs> seriously, in some way, shape, form, or fashion, even just teaching it. Yeah, you know, I've worked to, to get rid of these such ignorance, I mean, to rid the world or to help the world see the light some way or way, shape, form, or fashion, including teaching, college and university. Not much, but I did. And I was a career student. I really want to know what I know. You know, I really want to know. It's over 20 years of, of taking classes, seriously. And uh, I'm probably one of the most educated people, people, first people that people can know, really. Over 20 years undergraduate and graduate school classes, seriously. And so I've worked through the heaven time, tried hard, tried really hard, you know. But look what the shape the world is in. So anyway, like I was saying, I've wondered if younger people see that urge, that need. You know, people, I mean, I'm passing the torch kind of thing, I'm trying to pass the torch. Who am I going to pass it to? You know, who's next? I don't want to leave this world. You know, thinking that, oh my goodness, it's so bad. Well, I mean, seriously. Like I said, I did work hard to try to get things like, you know, we women here in the United States are not second-class citizens and we're not thought of as half as much as a man. And when I was young, when I was a kid, I, I mean, I, a kid, okay. I heard things like women need to learn to stay at home and let men get the jobs. You know, it's just that whole thing of times are tough people fight amongst themselves not against the people who are who are doing this kind of thing you know like charging like shrinking my my taco salad to half and charging the same price or selling the 12 pack of sodas at the same price i mean at the same size but at double the price you know we shouldn't be arguing amongst ourselves and calling one another the problem it's kind of like another one. So I watch these videos on, you know, about people doing deliveries and they, they fight against who? The, the customer. The customer's already paying more for the, for the food. They're paying a delivery fee or a monthly, a yearly, whatever fee for it to be delivered. And if they want to give a, a tip, that's their, that's their choice. I mean, why would they go... So many people think they're supposed to tip up front or no tip, no trip kind of thing, mantra. When that customer, that's a gratuity. If the customer wants to give it, it's at the end after you do your job. You, you show them that it's worth you giving them, them a tip. I always tip ahead of time and I always did 20%. So uh, you can't say anything to me like many would want to. I, I just never liked it. See, that's fighting amongst yourselves instead of fighting whom. Who is the person not paying you enough? It's not the customer. Seriously. So. And that, but I wonder, I do wonder, who out there is going to see the light and who's going to say, hey, I'll step up, I'll take, I'll, you can pass that torch to me. Seriously, I don't know anybody. You know anybody? I, mean, I, didn't, I don't care what age it is, as long as they're educated in it, whatever it is, for other people, or whatever field you're in, somebody can pass a torch to you. You know, something in the helping fields, not the hurting fields. The helping fields, you know, let's, let's help this, let's leave this world in a better place than when we got here. Seriously. But is it there? I mean, it could be somebody ten years younger than I. Who's got what it takes to go out there and make some changes? You know, safely. But I'm not giving any suggestions. No way. But safely. I, I just don't... I just don't hear much about... You know, people really... You know, fighting for their... 
I don't want calm rights, but fighting for the equality. I don't even hear people use the word equality anymore. And I think many of us already know it's not it's still not equal. Still not. In this day and age, you know, I have been saying that since I was since the eighties. <laughs> When I was more aware, made me more aware, you know, 1980s. Yeah, in this day and age, they're, they're think like that. And here we are still, 40, 40, like, over 40 years later, and I'm still saying, in this day and age? <laughs> Some things have changed, by the way. Some things greatly have changed. I just don't know if en enough people realize there were a lot of people who did a lot of things and some, yeah, were martyrs to get things to change to where they are now. I mean, that was a lot. And then some people seem like they take it for granted and they actually even want to fight this for the other side, for it to go backwards. What, are they just bored and they want something? Why can't you pick up the good side and see the bad side? You know, you oppress one, you oppress all people. Seriously. Learn it. Understand it. You know. There's more, so much to learn. So when is that going to start? I really would love to see it. I really would love to see, like I said, it can be somebody 10 years younger. You know, that can go out there and make changes. Uh, I'd love to see it in any age, but any, even younger, older, whatever. I'm not through with this world yet. <laughs> I'm still going to try to make a difference until I can't, until I no longer can do it. But I want to see other people out there doing that too. That they're concerned that they don't, they don't get online and watch crap. With people calling one another, people, people calling women the C word. That's verbal abuse, and don't you even try. Mm -mm. It's verbal abuse, period. Plain and simple. Oh, but so and so, they, this woman, she says it's not. Don't even try. Nope. Nope. It is verbal abuse. Period. Full stop. But you know, just, just put, watching people spending your time getting caught in that kind of drama. Come on, walk away, walk away, go do something. Well, I don't give advice. Strike that. I really would love to see people making a difference more in a good way. In a good way. Not being the people who are talking bad about people and all the while it's to they're total hypocrites. They're doing the same thing. You know? Not that kind of difference. That's not making a difference. That's just carrying it on. But anyway. Maybe I'm a, just being a little cranky, huh? Yes, I would say that. Because I only had half of my taco salad. <laughs> no. This isn't cranky. What is it? Do you know? Leave a comment below. Talk to you on another video. Bye.